silver one time. We'll be hunting there in a minute. There you have it. Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks. And this is a metal detecting video about going back to a 1950s permission in the family that we've detected once before and actually found two silvers there before as shown here. Now, because we found the Roosevelt dime there and the silver, sterling silver cabana ring, I definitely was eager to get back there. So those two items were found in late April of this year. And then on Friday, August 2nd, I had a little while while I was waiting to meet my sister to go try another property, actually, that's a, a riding stable. And I had about 30 minutes before she got off work, so I tried there then. And then about five weeks later, I tried once again and I had more time. So this is the J-Man with Metal Sharks and I have a plug here and I'm getting a kind of a jumpy signal 48 to 52 on the Garrett AT Pro. So I figured I had to dig it and uh, it's in the plug. Now it's more on the higher side of 52, 53. Nope. Looks like it's just foil. So this is another plug and there's a signal here. It's been a little jumpy, but it's as high as 85. Let's see if we can get it. Heard it for a second. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's silver, I think. Hey, look at that, it's a Merc. All right. Wow, a winged liberty, silver dime. Wow, that is nice. Not sure of the year, but I'll get it to you in the wrap up. Nice silver dime, J-Man out. This little critter was right near where I just dug a hole and I was getting a jumpy signal. I mean, anywhere from the 80s to the 90s to the 50s. So I, don't, I still need to check my hole. So I'm not sure what this is, but maybe some of, the, some of the viewers have ideas and could leave a comment on what kind of bug that might be. But at any rate, this is my first hole at the down home property for my brother. And this is what I found in it, a rifle bullet casing. 75 signal. Three inches deep. Let's give it a whirl. Who's gonna hold her trembling hand when the fiddler takes a stand? Who's gonna dance with Sally Ann? Okay, this is what it is. Another rifle shell. So there you have it. So this is the J-Man again with Metal Sharks. And in this spot where I, a minute ago I found a 22 rifle shell, I'm still getting another signal here. 
me see if I can tell you what it is. 46? 74? Okay, there it is. So, what we have here is another 22 rifle shell. Eight inches deep, 92, 78, pretty jumpy. We're giving it a whirl for sure. You may have noticed I don't have my earphones today. Good thing about that is you can hear the tones as I hear them. But uh, it was, my earphone Wi-Fi system wasn't charged properly. I guess maybe I left it on or it just wore out when I last went beach detecting. I gotta learn how to know when the battery status on that thing before I go out detecting next time. Signal's clear now, 82. Maybe this is good. I'm gonna try the pinpointer. Oh man, another man, another uh, 22 rifle shell. Because the house was here in the 50s. I don't know why somebody would be shooting a rifle right here. But they were. Alright, so right near the front doorstep I'm getting a signal. And I got the plug out here. Got the plug out here. Eighty-two, seventy-eight. I believe, believe it's right there. Eighty-one. So let's try. To get something in here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Looks like a penny. It's a Lincoln Memorial penny. So my next target is uh, just in front of the steps of the house, about twenty feet and about six inches deep. And I think I have it over here in the plug. And okay. It's like 67, 66. Here it is. Looks like a... Uh, Penny, like I thought. I think it's a Lincoln Memorial. So I was getting a signal in the mid 70s here, in the middle of the front yard, and uh, it's still in the hole. So let's try the pinpointer. Over here somewhere. Oh, what's that? Hey, look at that. It looks like a uh, shotgun end piece of a shotgun shell. And I think the shell is still in there. I see something orange-ish. Let's see if I can get that out and show it to you in the wrap-up. But it's right there. Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks with my wrap-up. And this will be pretty short because as you can see I didn't find a whole lot. But there was a 20 gauge shotgun shell as you can see there. And this is actually one that says Canuck and uh, some numbers on it. I'm not sure what they mean. 710 I think. And uh, 20 gauge. And then five 22 caliber rifle shells, casings, and uh, two Lincoln Memorial pennies and I couldn't get the year off of them because they're so dirty still. I rinsed them off lightly but couldn't tell. But I do know they're Lincoln Memorials. So there you have it. J-Man out.